Hey gang, what's up? It's Wes. So there's been something on my mind lately, um, working through commissions and stuff, that I kind of want to, I don't know, get off my chest or talk about and see if I'm the only one in this situation. But in my mind, there is a distinct difference between drawing, like pencil, charcoal, even digital, like just line art, and painting. And I don't know why that is. So on this one, we're actually going to be doing some sketches. You'll see a time lapse of me sketching, which is something I don't normally do, but I just need to get better at it. Uh, but I want to talk about this because I think it's an interesting topic, and I'd love to hear what you all have to say about it as well. But without further ado, uh, let's get to it. All right, we got coffee in hand, sipping on this. Uh, we're looking at a time lapse. I spent, I think, uh, let me look at the real time of this. Oh, 54 minutes on this sketch. Uh, and yeah, it's sped up. Of course, time lapse. I don't want to keep you all for 54 minutes for no good reason. Uh, <laughs> so th this might, I I'm hoping this video doesn't come off as like rambly. Because I guess this is one of those artist ex existential crisis type things. It's uh, it seems like I have more and more of those lately. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's just me. I hope it's just me. I hope you're, you know, not running into stuff like this. But I think everybody has an Achilles heel that sort of the thing that they know they need to get better at, but they just for whatever reason there's a mental block. And for mine, it's always been drawing. And in my mind, let me, okay, so let me explain what I, th I think drawing is. I, I guess to define it, and this is a weird thing to do, but I I'm going to define it because I want you all to know why I maybe think of it differently than painting. Drawing to me is more confidence in design. It's, 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 uh... I don't know, making the decision and sticking with it. Uh, of course, it's using a pencil, graphite, uh, ink pen, you know, Sharpie, really doesn't matter. Just uh, emphasis more on line, more so than emphasis on stuff like light. Um, so as, as a painter, and I am, uh, I've been to art school and all that fun stuff. So as a painter, I, I'm used to working in value and working in light. So, so values, uh, you know, how, where are the shadows falling? How does it make the forms? Uh, but drawing doesn't really have that, that at least in, in my opinion, the way I think of it, because I really think of drawing as, okay, I'm going to put structure lines. I'm going to make contour lines around the forms. And then I'm going to do like cross hatching for quote unquote shading. But I, I don't know what it is. And technically, I mean, I guess that would just be painting with a pencil, right? But it feels different. To me, I, I think it is a lack of confidence. I think it's my thing is it's I, I don't have a lot of confidence with shapes while I'm first starting. And I think with drawing, that seems almost like the end step to me. Like drawing, it's like, oh, I have this cool painting and underpainting and stuff. And then what I can do is I can paint everything and then draw some lines around what I painted. So instead of drawing and painting within the lines, it's like I paint and then I draw around the paint. <laughs> so I don't know. It's almost working backwards. Um, I don't know why I have such a hard time with it. It seems so easy. Just to pick up a piece of paper and there's no stress and... You just have a pencil and go for it. But I, I think there's a clarity with drawing that is more difficult than painting. Because painting, you can move stuff around. I, in a weird way, I think it's less permanent than drawing is. And I, I don't know how to shake that. And normally the way I use drawing, so if I were to draw or to sketch, it's really to landmark stuff. So uh, I'm recording my big portrait tutorial right now. And I talk about landmarking and, you know, gridding and all that type of stuff. And, and really, it's just, okay, 
where can I draw these small little boxes? That way, in my mind, I know where to come back in with a big paintbrush with value, whether that's just straight, you know, grayscale, black and white value, or it's uh, color and value at the same time. It's just a map. Drawing is a map for me. It's like, oh, I'm going to sketch down this idea, but I don't even consider it a sketch. I, I think of it as part of painting. Yeah, I, I don't know. I Because people that can draw well, whenever I think of people that can draw well, I think of like comic book illustrators or uh, you, you mixed media artists. And it's a discount. It feels so foreign to me. It's like, how do they do that? And, I, I, you know, I, I study. I'm a student of the game all the time. I still don't quite understand what my hang-up is on drawing. And I, I think it will improve my painting if I... If I embrace drawing, if I am more confident with my lines and the structure and things like, oh, let me draw belt loops, let me draw laces on a shoe, let me draw every crag in a rock, without relying on color and paint and smudging and all that to like, you know, impressionistically create a thing. But let me actually design it. I think that's the thing. I think drawing is design. I, I think it's very shape-based. I think it's very, you know, you can't hide as well. <laughs> um, you, you have to be very confident in, in what you're, you're putting on there. But it, it's just an interesting thing to me because, you know, I am of the mind of, you know, of course, enhance your strengths and continue to work on those because those are usually the things that set you apart uh, artistically. But I, I'm also a perpetual white belt. It's like, okay, I'm always a beginner. I, you know, always improve the thing you're bad at because as you raise the stuff that maybe you're bad or weaker at, all of your skill goes up. You know, it's not just this game of catch up to where now I'm going to work on the drawing. And now that my drawing's really good, now my painting got worse. I don't think it works like that. I think you're on this perpetual uphill. No matter what you do, whether it's time invested or different techniques tested or uh, any time under the, you know, the, in tattoo shops, they call it time under the gun to where you're just doing the thing. And, and, you know, of course, be, be cognizant about what you're studying and be, be mindful that you're not just, you know, essentially wasting time. But I, I don't really think there is wasted time uh, on a certain level. I think any time you put into it is going to pay back uh, dividends later. I, I, just, I, I just think working on your weaknesses, it's very vulnerable. It, it's something that... Work on the thing you're not good at, and it feels bad when you're doing it, man. Like, I'm. It sounds really weird, but I'm kind of embarrassed posting a time lapse of me sketching because I don't like showing that side. I don't like, of course, I don't like showing stuff off that I'm not good at, <laughs> you know, or that I don't feel that I'm strong at, and I, I don't. You know, I, I'm hoping this video at least it's kind of that leap of faith, dipping your toe in the water type thing. Like, just go out and do the thing. Do the thing that you know you got to do. Put in the time, and you're gonna see improvement. You're gonna. It, it's just gonna happen. And it's fine to be hard on yourself. I know we're all our own worst critic, but go out and just. Do the thing badly. Go out and make bad art. I've talked about that before. Like, be okay with making stuff that is not good. Um, and, you know, that's one of those things, do as I say, not as I do, because I hate making stuff that I know is not my strongest or, or strong up to the level I'm used to work. Uh, but what's funny, and this is kind of a side point, but this kind of proves the, the, the point of every, everything you do is growth in some way. 
I looked back at, because uh, I go out and I clean out my portfolio, my professional portfolio, probably once a month. Um, I go and change stuff. I kind of trim it down, trim the fat, get rid of stuff that I was like, you know, used to, you know, a year ago. I could have been like, oh, this is my best work. No way am I going to make anything better than this. No way. And now I can go back and look at it and be like, oh my gosh, why is this on the internet? I need to take this down immediately. It, and that's a good thing. That that's To be embarrassed of your old work means you've grown. And I, I think there's, there's something beautiful about that. There's something nice about seeing it and being like, oh man, I thought I was so good. What a chump I was. <laughs> you know, I, and I, it, it feels weird. I feel like... Even art that I posted two weeks ago, I'm like, oh my gosh, if I were to do that now, I would do it so different. And two weeks is not really that long of a time. It's just if you're constantly working, if you're constantly grinding, if you're trying to, if you're trying to make it work, you're going to notice things. It means your artistic eye is outgrowing your ability, so you're able to see mistakes. But then what ends up happening is as you practice and you put the time under the gun, as it were, you can, you, your ability starts to catch up with your eye. So th there's a graph, um, and it's like a, uh, it's kind of the Dunning-Kruger effect, I guess, but it's a, it's this grid, and I post it on my Discord, I post it to all my students. I'm like, guys, if you're embarrassed about your art or if you think you're not good it's a good thing because it means your eye is getting better and you're able to notice more things. Um, but then what's going to happen, yeah, you counterbalance that and then your ability starts catching up with your eye because you start noticing things while you're creating it. And then you're like, oh man, this is the best work I've ever done. The, I will get no better than this. This is the pinnacle. I need to show this to everybody. And that's an exciting time until your eye starts creeping back up and then it starts noticing issues. And or or I guess maybe more effective ways that you can go about it, and I think that that does tie back around with drawing, because maybe if I get stronger at drawing, and not even worrying about the paint, not thinking about values, maybe my designs will be stronger, which will then lead to better paintings, because I I've solved some of the early compositional problems or the design problems about. Where is this, you know, warriors, uh, like this Viking that we're doing right here? I can tell you right now, the anatomy on this is all kinds of jacked. It's the shoulders don't make sense. And like, where is his trapezius muscles? Because his neck and his shoulder is kind of the same thing. And yeah, I tried to do a little foreshortening. And I think, I don't know if we've gotten to it yet, but I do a liquefy tool thing and kind of adjust it. But even that doesn't really save it, in my opinion. Um, and his, his his rear hand, the hand that so his uh, left hand that's facing away, that's holding the shield. Why is it so far down? You know what I mean. Like, and I was even thinking of this stuff while I was drawing it. I would zoom out and be like, man. But then I thought, you know, maybe I should post this up without doing the fixes and without going in and really trying to solidify the anatomy and all that stuff. But maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe that's my fear of drawing, is I don't want to go in and I don't want to do the fine tune, uh, fine tooth comb and the fine tune tweaking to make the anatomy correct. But if I made the anatomy correct, the painting would be easier. I don't know. See what I mean? Like there's this weird thing about you kind of beat yourself up, but you notice places where you can grow. Man, this art thing's tough, huh? <laughs> but uh, by the way, this, this brush pack that I'm using is my May Sketch a Day 2020 brush pack, which is completely free. I'm going to link to it in the description uh, below. Uh, really cool traditional pencils, some graphite pastel sort of. Uh, whenever I posted this sketch online yesterday, I had a few people message me like, what kind of, you know, what kind of pastels did you use? What kind of Conte uh, crayon did you use? I'm like, no, man, this is digital. And they're like, oh, snap. So, yeah, it feels really good. It does feel natural. Uh, yeah, kind of just tossing stuff around, doing some more work for Varia. I mean, things are going well. It's just now I'm in that that uh, thing of growth. I, I want to get better quick. 
And I think the best way to get better quickly is to work on the thing you don't want to work on. Do the hard part. Do the hard work. Do the grunt work. Um, and kind of figure it out from there. But I guess that's my time. Uh, yeah, I hopefully this one wasn't too rambly. Hopefully there was something to think about. Let me know in the comments. What is your Achilles heel? What is the thing in art that you just, you know you need to get better at it. You know you need to work on it. And it's just something that, like, every time you think about it, it almost scares you away from doing art. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, you know, I'd love to do this. Let me go to my happy place. Let me do my the, the thing I know I'm good at. But what's the thing you know you need to study and you know you need to work on? Mine is drawing just the confidence of line and design shapes, but also stuff like anatomy. I'm always going to be learning anatomy. That's a lifelong pursuit. No one ever masters anatomy. Um, unless you're like Proko or, you know, somebody who's spent a majority of their life studying anatomy. And even then, uh, without good reference, it's pretty difficult to do. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I I'd love to hear from you on this. I'm just always interested in what other artists find difficult because maybe, maybe you love drawing. Maybe drawing is your thing and you hate painting because painting, oh my gosh, what color do I use? What brush should I use? How do I do this texture? Maybe that stuff intimidates you. Uh, with me, that's like, oh, that's paradise, man. Um, yeah, let me add it, you know. But let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all real soon. Um, until then, go make cool art, and we'll see you soon.